welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing fabulous. I'm ready to share with you some empties. Let's go through it. We're gonna do some hits and misses. If you are new here to the channel, how we do here, I'm basically gonna hold up the product, tell you if I like it, if I love it, and, and then I throw it because that's how we do here. We don't care. We just throw things. We throw things all over the place. Let's do this. Let's go through my beauty trash. All right, first off, I have some wipes. <laughs> these these are not really advertised as like make it remover wipes, but I've mentioned these before. These are the Yes2 Coconut Hydrate and Restore Cleansing Wipes. These are great just for your body, <laughs> your body. I've actually stopped using make it remover wipes or just wipes in general, and my skin has been doing really well. So. I don't know if I'll buy these anymore, but I did like them. They are a hit. All right, next up, I have a hair product. This is my favorite conditioner. This is the Desert Essence Coconut Conditioner. This one, now here's my issue because I'm gonna have to find a different shampoo because the coconut shampoo, I believe has sulfates in it because I've noticed that my hair color, because I did just recently dye my hair and cut it. Uh, it may not look like it on camera, but it's a really deep plum color and it's been fading a little bit faster than I want it to. So I'm going to have to find a different shampoo, but this one does not have any. It's it's vegan, wheat and gluten free, no sodium, lauryl sulfate, no parabens, all that good stuff. Like it's not in there. Love this stuff. It's a hit. That's been a favorite for years. Love it. I've got a lot of skincare, so I hope you guys are ready for it. <laughs> I've got another bottle of my favorite facial toner. This is the Andalou Naturals Coconut Water Firming Toner. This is my new favorite. It's a hit. She's amazing. I will repurchase that a million times over. All right, here's sort of a makeup-ish product. This is from e.l.f. Cosmetics. It's their Aqua Primer Mist. This just as a primer for me, it just felt like a, I don't know, it just felt like a regular facial spray. I don't know. I don't, it was okay. I'm not crazy about it. The pump on here was awful, so that's why you see a black cap on here because I had to switch it out for something else. See, I don't think it's like really awful, but it just didn't work for me, so I'm gonna say it's a mess. Sorry, Elf. And here is the shampoo. I was wondering if this was in here. Yep, I have the Desert Essence Coconut Shampoo. I do love this on my natural hair, but for hair color, I would not recommend this because it lathers up too much. <laughs> uh, so I don't think this is for color treated hair, but it's still really good hit all right next up my favorite holy girl favorite facial sunscreen is the one from davida it's the solar protective moisturizer spf 30 i wish they would put this in spf 50. um this one i do like it's fairly affordable i get it off of vitacost i'll put a link down below it's really good as a hit i'm losing my voice so if i sound a little like my voice sounds scratchy. It's because I've been filming so many videos pre-filming because I'm going to be out of town for a while um, on vacation. <laughs> Your girl needs a little vacation, but I wanted to make sure you guys had lots of videos to watch while I was gone. All right, let's move on and quit babbling. Next skincare product, we have the Heavenly Night Cream, also from Annabelle Naturals. This is from the A Thousand Roses Collection. Hit! Next, I have my last bottle of Jordana Eye Makeup Remover. This is my absolute favorite for removing my eye makeup. It's the best eye makeup remover ever. It's a hit. All right, more skincare. Good grief. I went through a lot of skincare recently. This right here is another favorite product that I love from e.l.f. This is the Illuminating Eye Cream. I love the e.l.f. skincare line. I did a full review on quite a few products if you guys want to check that out. Cruelty-free vegan skincare really affordable budget friendly it's super bulky but this was really creamy and hydrating i scraped the very bottom of it this is just amazing all right i don't want to break anything let's throw it over there ah uh, hit i have some lashes well i have the container of the lashes i can't find the lashes anywhere <laughs> i wore the crap out of these these are the broadway from kiss uh wispy eyelashes these were amazing I absolutely love these Broadway lashes. They're so affordable and cheap. You can get them off of ikhouse.com. But these are amazing. I'm wearing a pair today. These are the 415s. I am obsessed with the 415s, but the Wispies are good as well. Those were a hit. 
I would definitely repurchase. All right, next up I have the LA Girl Calcium Nail Builder. This is my absolute favorite. I tried to scrape the very bottom. There's a tiny bit there, but this is amazing. This is my Holy Grail favorite product for growing my long nails. Yes, these are my real nails, and this is what keeps them strong, long, and thick, and healthy. If you guys missed my top five favorite products that changed my nails, pretty much saved them from extinction. <laughs> uh, this was one of the products, so definitely check out that video for more information, but uh, this is amazing. It is a hit. I can't be without it. All right, guys, we're almost done. I have some makeup products here. So we have the Wet n Wild Coverall Foundation in Fair. Yes, look at that. I squeezed out every last drop. I love this foundation. I think they're going to probably stop selling this soon because this is an old foundation from Wet n Wild, but this is one of my favorites. It's long wearing. It has a nice satin finish on the skin. The color range sucks. You know, I'm just going to put it out there. But uh, this is in the shade Fair. I can kind of make this work in the summertime, but I usually have to lighten this. It's a hit. It's an old favorite. It's maybe not as easy to find nowadays, but if you can, it's worth checking it out. So first up, I have the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil in Neutral Brown. And the writing came off because I've used the crap out of this. Uh, nothing left to show you, but there's a little tiny nub in there somewhere, down, down in there. Um, I mentioned before that I have a love-hate relationship with this brow product. Some days I use it and it works really nicely. Just You have to be really soft and gentle with it because it's a really creamy pencil and it's a really chunky, thick pencil, which I don't like. So I don't know if this is a hit or miss. It's kind of a hit. We're going to just... Oh. It, it's kind of a hit. All right, this right here is from Flower Beauty, and this is pretty much empty. I actually can see through the tube here. Brow Master, all-in-one brow mascara. I think they still sell this. This is in light medium. I would consider repurchasing this, but the packaging is just so bold. I mean, look at this. This looks like a freaking mascara wand or a lipstick. It's just too big and bulky. It barely fits in my little makeup container. I do actually like the product itself. Um, the wand is very big. It's pretty long, uh, but it does a really nice job of separating just kind of like putting your brows into place and it also fills them in. So it's, an, it's a good product. I just hate how bulky it is and I don't really care for this part. If it was just a smaller packaging with that same amazing product and maybe a better shade range because there's only like two or three shades to choose from, which is very limiting. There you go. I hit and miss all one. All right, I have three eyeliners that are misses. Yes, all three of these were awful. So first up, we have the BH Cosmetics Liquid Eyeliner in Black Noir. And this one has, all three of these have a felt tip uh, applicator. So it looks like this. And it looks like pretty much a giant marker. This one is really hard. And it does come to a point, but I just do not like this. I can't get a nice even line. It skips a lot and it's just not my favorite. This was a miss. Next up we have the Essence Super Fine Eyeliner Pen in Waterproof. Look how long that is. I mean that is so so freaking long. I just find that this is really flimsy and it doesn't come out pigmented enough. It's like dry. As soon as I started using this brand spanking new, it was dry. <laughs> so uh, no, this was a total, total miss. I would not recommend that to anyone. And then the last one here is from LA Girl Cosmetics, and this is their Line Art Matte Eyeliner. As you can tell, I've been trying a lot of eyeliners for a while now, <laughs> and I'm just, I'm not a fan of the felt tip ones. The only one I've ever liked, ever, is the one from Kat Von D. Those are really good. I only have a little uh, mini sample one, but it's amazing. All the ones from the drugstore I can't stand, so I prefer a brush tip applicator and more of a liquid liner than in a pen like this. Or the Epic Ink one from uh, NYX is amazing because it's a brush tip applicator and not a sponge. So this one again, very similar to the Essence one, it has a very sharp point. You know, it comes to a nice point, but again, this one doesn't even show up black. It shows up gray. It's so weird now it is pigmented like when you go like this on the hand but i just feel like i can't get a really good line again i don't know what it is about the felt spongy i just uh i can't stand them and from now on 
I'm just not even going to bother wasting my money because look at all the money I wasted on these liners. Miss, you are a miss and you are out of my life. Goodbye. So long. Farewell. All right, guys, that is everything. Woo, we are completely done. That was all of my empties for July and August. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you are new here to the channel. I post videos every single week, girlfriend. If you are missing out, I am so sorry, but you had to hit that subscribe button. You need to hit that bell so you will be notified of new videos on every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes on Sunday, 10 a.m. Easter Standard Time, as always. I hope you guys have a really great day. I will see you in the next video, and remember, smarter beauty is better beauty. Bye, guys.